I wonder what would happen if Framer and Webflow had a baby. Well, in this video, I will tell you. And I'll introduce you to a platform that I've just stumbled upon. And to be honest, I wish I had found earlier. It's everything I wish Webflow was with a design experience that's extremely similar to Figma or Framer, but it comes with a absolute boatload of superpowers. That means that your build and development process is completely unrestrictive. So you can make pretty much any web app or website that you want using any data source that you want and hosting it pretty much anywhere you want. So yeah pretty, pretty awesome. Now, that's just the tippy, 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 tippy top of the iceberg. Anywho, let's get into it. Now, just remember, there's some links below, which they are affiliate links. So yeah, if you do click them, thank you. So quick backstory, I love Webflow, but the restrictions or limitations specifically around e-commerce and working with external data sets and databases can cause a bit of a frustration or a frustrating experience, specifically when you're working with clients who need a little bit more oomph and start pushing against the limitations of the specific platforms. Now, that's not just a Webflow thing. That is typically an issue of page builders and stuff. There is going to have some limitations. This results you in needing to look at external or third-party plugins and stuff like that to try and hack around the specific limitation or problem, which in the long term may not be the best approach and sometimes Sometimes can create more of a headache than it's worth. Then one day while chat GPTing something monumentally important, I stumbled across a word called plasmic um, in the links. And I was like, well, what being a curious type of chap, I was like, well, what? What's this? I've never heard of this before. So I clicked on the link and vetted, went across and I was like, what is this tool and why have I not seen it before? After completing the onboarding pro project, which quite frankly is awesome way of doing it. So thumbs up to the Plasmic team. It really gets you into the process very quickly and explains all the topics that you need. So it makes it very easy to pick up. But basically it was everything I've ever wanted in a visual builder or headless CMS tool, which allows me to pretty much build the site that I want to in a very visual and a very creative way but leverage pretty much any data type I want. Think Airtable, WordPress integration, Shopify, or whatever you wanted to do to pull it in. But also, if I need to leverage other platforms like Vue.js or Next or uh, Hydrogen, which is Shopify's React-based framework. And you can basically export code directly for those particular platforms, which is unbelievable because it's basically built straight out of the bat for you. So yeah, big yeah. Oh yeah, there's literally no limitations on what you can and cannot build, where you can build it and what you can you cannot do. It basically integrates with all of the main ones that you would really want to use when you're doing more complicated application development. Now, Framer and Webflow are both doing kind of Next.js integrations with DevLink and stuff like that. So it's a topic that's coming up quite a bit, but this is seamless, it's fantastic. And when you've got companies like Intuit or Envato using it, you know it's not a small fry, it is a heavy hitter already. But does that mean this is only for developers? No. The awesome thing about this tool is it scales with what you need it to do. So if you just wanna have a simple website or a simple application and you don't wanna to touch any code whatsoever, you can build it like you would in Webflow Framer, hit that publish button, it will generate a Next.js application for you, host it on Plasmic servers, which I think are AWS US based servers, and job done, you're live. You've got all the integration tools that you could possibly want and you're, 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 you're fine. But now your client or has an existing code base that you wanna integrate with, or you wanna create a specific tool or specific application leveraging things like let's say Shopify Hydrogen for instance. You can then use the same platform to generate that code or components and directly feed that into your code base which is mind-blowing awesome. 
So, so yeah, so you don't need to worry if you're no code, but it gives you complete flexibility to, to grow and to leverage different tools and skill sets in order to do what's right for your client. Okay, so in a nutshell, Plasmic is a headless CMS with an exceptional design experience, and that also allows you to learn and get up to speed incredibly fast. It allows you to build production grade applications, websites, or content extremely fast without compromise. And it integrates with pretty much any tool you can probably think of. Now, this has been a brief video, but it is an epically capable tool. So with a huge amount of complexity. So trying to cover all of the awesomeness in one video is just ludicrous because we'll be here for months. But the, the fact of the matter is, is I'm going to be starting to do a whole host of tutorials to try and help people on board because I just think it's fantastic. And yeah, click on that link below, go have a visit, have a play. There's a free version of it. So you can pretty much play for your heart's content to get your feet wet, so to speak. And then yeah, come back here, type in your comments if you're struggling with anything specific and I'll pick up and we'll uh, try and produce and help you out with that. Uh, with that, just do that whole likey, sharey, subscribe thing, get the notification bell going and yeah, happy coding and yeah, try something new. It's awesome. Catch you later.